Well, hey, welcome back to the Saxophone Factory. My name is Willie Lawson, and now we are still working on the advanced, the Rubank Advanced Method for Saxophone, Volume 1, and now we're going on to the third unit. The third unit uh, is a lot the same. It's, it, it's, I think it's all in, in, in the key of C, which means there's no flats or sharps. Uh, we're going to start on page, let me see, page 5. Oops. Page 5, number 3 is what I think it is. Oops. Hang on, I passed the syllabus. And the syllabus is early in the book, so you can follow along in the syllabus. Uh, it is page 5, number 3, which is the beginning of the third unit. All righty. Ta, 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 ta. Now, it has a crescendo, which means that as you get higher, you should get louder. But in the beginning, just make sure that you're playing it steady. Ta, 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 ta. Here we go. One. Ready? <gasps> Now we're going to go to the next one, which is page six, number seven. Page six, number seven, is the common chord, which is just really the arpeggio in the key of C. Here we go. Ready? And. <laughs> one on our next one on, on unit three is page 21 number three it's apparently a uh it's for mozart melody let's see i had to shrink down the page on the computer to <laughs> to get a, get more of it in hope i can see it all here we go it is in six eight six eight means what there are how many counts in a measure say it with me and what kind of note gets one count an eighth note, that's right. Here we go, we're in the key of C. It's Andante uh, Grazioso, which means gracefully, and um, we're not going to take it up a tempo, but if you want to take it faster, you're, you're, you're welcome to. Here we go. And, and. <laughs>
Uh, that's uh, page 41, number three. Okay, this is page 45, number three. 16th note patterns here. Um, my suggestion is to do what I'm going to do. I'm going to play it slowly first, and then I'm going to speed it up as I practice it. Okay? Sometimes when we see 16th notes, our brain kind of freaks out, and we think it's fast. Not necessarily so. Not necessarily so. So we're going to play for accuracy first, and always. And then we'll play for speed after we attain a high degree of accuracy. All right, here we go. Ready? accuracy. Let's try it again. Ready? And Again, we practice these slowly and then we speed them up. Accuracy first. Here you go. Ready? Concentrating on the notes you're playing and the fingerings make a world of difference in these exercises. So don't just play through them one time and go, got it. Play through them again and again to make sure that you have it and you can manipulate it. All right, on to the next one. All right, almost done with this unit. We're going to play uh, page 60, number two. And we're going to play it just, number two, I think it is, yes. Number two. Uh, we're going to play it just like it says in page on page 16, number one. We have the 16th notes, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Because what we're trying to build is evenness of the trill until we speed it up. We're trying to build evenness and making sure that we're playing the right finger, fingering combinations. All right, page 60, number two. Ready? Go. <laughs> Number 
Like I mentioned uh, at the onset, the solo portions, you're going to play those over multiple weeks, hopefully gathering information, musical information about them and, and practicing them and playing them better every time you play them. So, to prove to you that I'm not cheating, I'm not skipping ahead, I'm not uh, recording it early and just sort of editing it in, I'm not, I'm in a different clothes, uh, which I did not bring with me, uh, so we're going to play number 66. Uh, number one, the minuet from Orpheus of the Deep by Gluck. One more time. Hopefully it'll be better than the past two times I played it. Hopefully. Here we go. One. <clears throat> Ready? <gasps> Number one, practice these. Again, play, play them again and again over the course of the week with your practice session, uh, making sure that you are aiming for accuracy, intonation, correct rhythm, good tone, all that stuff, right? And then I'll catch you again on the next video on Unit 4. This is Unit 3. My name is Willie Lawson. Welcome to the Saxophone Factory. Have a great night now. Be well. <laughs>